four years and 700 miles ago, I brought forth a pre-order from Cemetery Dance. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, I have a very special unboxing, and by special I mean very rare unboxing, of a Cemetery Dance book. These have become endangered species in some parts of the world, but like a spotting of multiple Tasmanian tigers, there's hope. There may be life in Cemetery Dance publishing world because not too long ago I got strange weather and that was a that was a book purchased in uh, 2017 and now we have the Southern Reach trilogy from Jeff Vandermeer which I purchased in December of 2018 so it's not entirely fair to say this is four years old uh, but it, it's three years and seven months so <laughs> pick your battles people pick them Anyway, don't do math in case I got that wrong. Let's check in with the Magic Duff Bucket to see what pairs well with the Southern Reach Trilogy. What do you have for me today, Magic Duff Bucket? I mean, I just felt a Gregorian chant was called for just in that moment. Magic Duff Bucket. Water. I know, it was a lot of buildup. And it's just like Kirkland water. I was at the swimming hole with my son. Got a lot of sun to do, a lot of running around out in the wilderness. So a little water is, is what is called for. So let's open this baby up. It's pretty heavy. This is like a four pounder. There were, there were big beefs. There was a fun, a fun beef. There aren't many beefs in the publishing world. Not many. There are some. There's some dramas. But there was a big beef between Jeff Vandermeer and uh, Cemetery Dance. He was really, really mad it was taking him so long to get this book out. And then, and then he put Chismar on blast on the social medias. And he, he went the extra mile and he kind of said what everybody thinks about it. And, and he was like, don't just tell me that you got Stephen King to read my book. That doesn't matter. I want my fans to get my books. So he was kind of throwing the Uncle Steve card back at Richard Chismar, which is kind of satisfying. It's kind of satisfying. So here, here we go. I requested uh, number 73 to match my uh, complete born and it, now I, I it did it didn't work I was told I wasn't gonna get it but this was a long arduous process even Jeff Man Vandermeer couldn't understand why it took so long to get out the door um, and from my understanding there's no interior art and so they weren't waiting on signatures. They weren't waiting on anything um, to get it done. So nobody understands. Now that's a really understated spine. The Southern Reach Trilogy, Jeff Vandermeer. It's, it's really understated, very subtle. But the art on the, on the sides of the slipcase is super cool. Two different pieces. So I, I like that. Um, art's from Pablo Delkin. And uh, I think that the artist was handpicked by Jeff Vandermeer. Not sure. I could have done homework, but I didn't. Hey, I've had a lot of time to do the homework. So the dust jacket is groovy. I, I dig it. I dig dust jackets with no words on them. Let's see. Let me give you a big look at the dust jacket. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I've never read it, so I have no real connection to that art piece. Here's the Naked Book. Again, understated title treatment. 
but the boards match the slip case so they have this foil stamping on the front and back two different animals one looks like an owl one looks like a rabbit so i'm gonna listen to that later and say what the hell did i say one looks like an owl one looks like a rabbit but i slurred it and i only had water so go figure um blank end paper so no imagination there and I got number 602. There was a lot of uh, chatter about this signature looking like Josh Mallerman's signature. It is not Jeff Vandermeer's normal signature. And it looks like maybe his beef with Cemetery Dance carried over to the signature page. Maybe he just got him and he's just like, whatever. And he was mad at that point. I don't know. I thought... He did the signatures early in the process, so I, I can't speak to that. But um, but that is uh, um, not Jeff Vandermeer's best signature. Or he just doesn't value his signature anymore. I don't know. If you want to look at a more generous Jeff Vandermeer signature, this is how it appeared in um, The Complete Born from Subpress. Again, compare that to this. So, you could see why people were wondering, what's up with the Vandermeer signature? Um, there is no art inside the book, which is kind of shocking um, for the price. This was, uh, this was 150 bucks four years ago, and usually at that level, you don't just get a slip case, you get interior art, an artist signature maybe. So I'm a little surprised. I don't know if that was the plan the whole way through. I don't know. Don't know. And and nobody can go back and check on that. That's impossible. You just can't do it. So it's a it's a big book. It's a hefty book. Big book. Um, the paper quality is, you know. It's, it's hard to have the thick paper stock in a very thick book. Otherwise, you'd have to split it up into two volumes. It is the trilogy. So this is, this does con this is an omnibus. It contains all three books in, uh, in the Southern Reach trilogy. That's what trilogy means. I do think it's cute that it says copyright 2018. And then this says, you know, published 2021, which is fun false anyway now i heard they were going to include some bonus info bonus content in here they were going to work on some very special additions to the book that never materialized i don't even think it's on the product page anymore so it's sad this this book sort of symbolizes a dip in uh, in the in the timeline of cemetery dance they they were going gangbusters. They had all these titles lined up. They were going for it. And um, man, they they just squandered all that momentum, all that good energy. And some of it was, you know, out of their hands or the printer closing up. But I think a lot more could have been handled better to keep that energy going, to keep those customers happy, to keep the authors involved uh, than, than they did. And so it's a shame. So this book sort of is emblematic of great potential squandered. And I think that's extra bitter to Jeff Vandermeer. Obviously no author wants their work to symbolize that to collectors. Anyway, anyway. I am thrilled it, it saw the light of day. I cannot wait to read it. Um, and it gives me hope that things are, are, are going to turn around. Maybe Cemetery Dance phases out the limited edition business and focuses on trades. Because Gothic is coming from Cemetery Dance. The Phil Fricasse trade edition. I am pumped about that. Can't wait to get it. Um, so I do have hope. There is some energy for Cemetery Dance. I hope hope it, it, it succeeds and, and they find their next chapter um, 
while they get the rest of the back catalog out into the hands of impatiently waiting customers. So that said, I am going to uh, enjoy this book, put it on my shelf next to the other Vandermeers, and um, look forward to better days for all of us. Used to be back in the day, I would uh, save a spot for books on my pre-orders list. I'd save a spot on the shelf knowing that I had uh, a book from that author coming soon. But with the long, long wait times from Cemetery Dance, it didn't make sense. I left these gaping holes on my bookshelves that were just painful, empty reminders of, of how empty... I was inside. So um, now when I get a Cemetery Dance book, I have to reshuffle all my shelves. So there's the Vandermeer shelf. I'm going to have to move some stuff around to get this guy on there. Right. I will say the slipcase feels on the thinner side for a Cemetery Dance slipcase. Usually they're of sturdier stuff. I think I also said that with the the strange weather slipcase. So it could be a thing that they had to pull back on these materials. Um, though I will say, at $150 four years ago for this book, I would think that that's enough gas in the tank to get a better product. Recently, there was some uh, discussion on Mexican Gothic from Subterranean Press and about the lack of art in that book, the lack of a slipcase even, uh, for the price point Subterranean Press was asking. Some felt they were getting an elevated trade edition and not a true limited edition with the art and all the other things. Subterranean Press has recently raised their prices. Normal limited editions were going for about, you know, $8,500, and then they bumped them to $125, $175. And I think Mexican Gothic was one of the higher end um, price points for what was typically an $85 purchase. So I think that's where a lot of people were coming in a little annoyed on that. I'd say the same for this. Apart from a slipcase, this is what I would call an elevated trade edition. It's a trade edition with a signature sheet and a really cool dust jacket. I mean, the boards are nice. There are, don't get me wrong, there are some things that, that elevate it beyond just a trade edition, but if you look at these boards, they're, they're cool. But then look at the boards on Vandermeer's trade edition of Dead Astronauts. There, that's that's something and it's a simple little trade edition tiny little baby trade edition um, that seems to have more going for it than um, cemetery dances trippy dust jacket but we're gonna let Qui-Gon's be Qui-Gon's and move along go on to bigger and better things for everybody so if you like that there may be copies available popping up if people were tired of waiting and they canceled their orders. So if you reach out, you may get lucky as well. Reach out to Mindy or Dan over there at Cemetery Dance. Because for you, the wait is, is over. You don't have to do the waiting that all these people did. Uh, we did it for you. I feel like, yes, I feel like I'm the part of the greatest generation. I sacrificed so that you can get the book without the four-year wait. No, I, you know, I don't need a parade or anything. Maybe just subscribe to the channel. I don't know. That's kind of, that's the currency. That's the social currency today. You subscribe, you like, and you comment. Social currency. But in the meantime, until you see me again, until I see your comments and respond to them, have a beer. Have a book and stay frosty.